Mm. Mm. It's my pizza dance, happy pizza dance. Hey guys, it's Mike Chen. Now we all know New York City is a culinary capital, but there are a few food items that it's really known for. For example, pizza, bagels, and burgers. Since I've already done a pizza video, I've told you my favorite bagel place. Now let's talk about burgers. Of course, this is a topic of huge debate as to who has the best burger in New York City, but I've spent the last year trying all the most popular, supposedly best burgers in New York, and I've come to my own conclusion. So today I'm going to show you guys a couple places that I think has some of the best burgers in the city. I'm also going to try out a couple places I haven't been yet, so this is going to be a pretty amazing burger day. Let's go. First place we're going to is in Brooklyn, an institution, Peter Luger's. This is the burger. Look at that perfect blanket of melty cheese on top of a half a pound coarse blend beef patty. And this is the same meat they use for their dry aged steak. So, a little bit of onion on top. By appearance, this is one of the prettiest burgers I may have ever seen in my life. It looks like a little, little burger house with the perfect little roof, perfect blanket of cheese, onions, juicy patty. Juice just comes gushing out of the patty. Oh, that's what I call a juicy on Bailey. If this is not one of the best looking burgers, just from appearance you have ever seen. I don't know if we can be friends. If you guys want to see a burger cascading waterfall, feast your eyes on that. And you can see the beef is way more coarse than your typical burger, and they do it on purpose so the burger has more of a steak feel to it. We take a bite, but it doesn't get juicier than this. I mean, this thing is so juicy, it should be on page six. Of course, you can't forget about the bacon. And when you put bacon on a burger here, they don't mean a couple of little pieces of wimpy, crispy bacon that you see for breakfast. They're talking about this. Like, this thing is as big as my plate. To the first burger of the day. It's like a master clash on burger simplicity. There's really no any wacky seasoning in here. It's just some onions, some cheese, and a big meaty burger. And like I said, the burger is very coarse. So it's got a nice, chewier texture. And you can smell and taste the age on this burger. Because it's made with the same aged beef that their steak is cooked with, the dry aged flavor is extremely pronounced. And oh my goodness, is this ever juicy. Again, flavor. Very simplistic, super beefy, no crazy seasoning, no crazy spices. It's all about the meat with this burger. I don't even know how to start with this. Look at that. <laughs> I feel like this should replace my mouth. I don't even know what to do. Can I just put this whole entire bacon on my burger and just take a bite like this? Why not? I really enjoy that bite. Juicy burger, check. Crunchy onions, check. Fatty, charred, crispy slice of monster bacon, double check. Also, what I love about the burger, the char on the meat, because they cook the burger under the same oven that they used to broil their steaks. So you gotta have that great char on the burger, and it's on the bacon as well. Oh. You know what could be really helpful with this? Since the bottom of the bun is like, it, it'll get soggy from the juice of the burger really quick. Put your bacon on the bottom of the bun and then put the bun there. The bacon will absorb the juice of the burger. Burger innovation. Everything about this burger is really just no nonsense. Monster beefy dry aged flavor. Great char, juicy. And I really recommend getting a bacon and putting it all together. When I think of one of the most satisfying burgers in the world, this is what I think of. I come to this place, not for the steak. I come here for this. Amazing. All right, I gotta finish this up, but the next burger we're gonna try, it's a rising star in the New York City burger scene. Next burger place is going to 2nd Avenue, East Side, Black Emperor. I was here for uh, a pop-up that made ramen Korean fried chicken. Same chef, Chef Jay, makes an amazing burger. Buddy's joining me. What's up, dude? How you doing? 
You ready for a burger? Oh uh, yeah, let's do it. You like burgers? You know I'm down for a burger. Kimchi paste, two pea, and a touch of sesame oil. So this is the kimchi American Wagyu burger. Oh, oh. couple slices of cheese, kimchi mayo. Sweet. This is one of the juiciest burgers. Oh man, I like the sesame seed bun. Yeah. Mmm. Oh, that's good. That's good. It's crispy, mm -hmm. but it's also tender. Oh, it's nice. That's yeah, it's nice. about to take over my shell. This is a great burger. This is freaking I phenomenal. mean, Patty's chart, absolutely perfect. And the juice that you get biting into that. I like the sauce. The kimchi sauce in the right. burger. Oh, fantastic. Mmm. Mmm. Well, oh, overall, man. that slight subtle kimchi flavor with that little heat. I love the char on oh, the patties yeah, itself. Yeah, yeah, it's crispy. Yeah, like that. you get that it's little like sear. Is that you know? a sear? It's, it's a sear, it's, it's, it's a char, it's, you know, it seals the juice in. Oh yeah, it's great That's idea. why, that's oh, why yeah. it's so juicy. It's, mm. You take a bite, it's like beef gushers. So flavorful, all the fats in there, and it's just so good. Wow. I'm okay even without the cheese, but like, I, I, I like the cheese, I like the, I like the melty creaminess of the cheese. Yeah, yeah. But I feel like without the kimchi sauce, the kimchi mayo, like the cheese will be a little over too much for me. Like I don't need cheese without that. Because the spice of the kimchi mayo with the cheese, it actually works pretty well together. I agree. Um, I like the cheese. I'm a cheese guy. Yeah, yeah. You're I a cheesy cheese dude. Either. But overall, I just, well, the first time I've been into this, I was just like, I just love how juicy it is. That's one of my biggest identifiable characteristics of a good burger for yeah. me, is how juicy oh, is yeah. the patty. If I've oh, been yeah. into it, it's like a cardboard patty or like, you know, what I had at McDonald's. It's just, it doesn't work. All right, man. Well, you're not going with me to my next burger place. You're missing out. Yeah. Thanks for joining me for this. Yeah, man. Absolutely. It's a pleasure. Let's go to our next burger place. Burger number three, the Boiler Maker. And I am here for their burger, voted the top 100 burgers in America. This ain't no hype. Double beef, pickled vegetables, signature sauce, lettuce, tomatoes, onions. Ooh, here is the burger. It's like a burger skyscraper that just keeps on going. Two amazingly juicy beef patties. American cheese draped over like a comfortable blanket. Three pieces of bun, one in the middle. We'll just call that a moist maker. On top, Filipino pickled vegetables, onions, tomatoes, lettuce, crispy bacon, hard to absolutely freaking loop perfection. Look at that. Everything is just submerged in beefy juice. The bottom of this bun is already soggy. That's why that middle moist maker is in effect because if that middle piece of bun wasn't there, I'd be washing my hands right now on burger juice. I think every one of the burgers I had today, every one of them, they're all so juicy they could be in the tabloids. Here's to you, Ross. This place was one of the places that after I went to about 20 burger places and I came here, I took one bite and said, this is a winner. This is a 100% winner. What's so great about this burger, first of all, that patty, the clean beef flavor of the patty is mesmerizing. Not much went into the seasoning, just a little bit of salt. With that chewy, melty texture of the beef, it just contrasted by that super amazingly crisp bacon. And if you think this thing might be a little too juicy, a little too fatty, as if there were such a thing, that's where the pickled vegetables come in. I mean, here, you don't just get the boring old tomatoes and lettuce. I mean, that, they do they do exist in a burger, but you get that deliciously crunchy, vinegary pickled vegetables right on top. And when you invite those things to the party, there's not a single boring bite. And I've been to a lot of burger joints, all the famous ones in New York. This was my favorite out of all of them. Also, the reason for that, double patty burger, $11. That's a great, great deal in New York City. And when you come here and take one bite, you can understand why this burger absolutely stood out for me and why this is one of my favorite burgers in the city and absolutely belongs in this video. So originally, this video was only gonna have four burgers, but I had to add in Chef Jay's Kimchi Meal American Wagyu Burger. And just on my way here, I, I remember there's another burger you guys you guys got to get to know because it is absolutely amazing. So, gonna finish this, go work out for about 12 hours, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow where the burger adventure continues. Nothing like a morning walk through Chinatown to get that hunger going. Burger adventure part two, let's go.
I'll tell you straight up, I don't like this market. I feel like it's one of the biggest touristy things in New York City. The food is not all that good. It's very overpriced, but there is one place that serves an amazing burger. But I have come here a lot, mainly because YouTube is right upstairs and the Food Network is here. I found this place because I was on the burger show and this is one of the places we tried. That burger, like saying it blew my mind will be a complete understatement. Absolutely unique and amazing. And I'm here for the folded cheese burger. So basically they take a beef patty, which is just massive, and layer it with cheese. And then the beef is basically flipped over so the beef becomes almost the bread of a grilled cheese sandwich. Oh, let the cheese melt, sir. So this thing is gonna be nice and crusty outside. Take a pita bread, a little bit of pickles. What else are you putting in there? We have garlic aioli, we have a little sour cream, tomatoes, pickles. Wow. Coming out ready for you right now. And then in goes the burger, which in itself is, is like a burger grilled cheese. Basically. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Look at that perfect, well done crust glistening. And the inside is gonna be perfectly cooked and juicy. Here, don't be shy. Let's undress it just a bit more here. There you go, show your shoulders. There you go, that's okay. The burger patty and cheese is so big, it won't even fit inside this massive pita. Gooey cheese leaking out of the crust. And of course it comes with this amazingly spicy roasted green chili. It's hard to take a bite with the pita and everything because half the burger meat and cheese is sticking out of the pita. I was gonna take a bite of the cheese and, and, and the meat because that's pretty much like a, like, a, like a little sandwich burger on its own. Perfectly charred outside. Deliciously cooked, juicy meat inside and look at all that gooey cheese stuff inside the burger meats. And this cheese, like I said, it's crispy, crusty cheese. Ah, this thing is crunchy. Burger perfectly seasoned, tons of pepper on there. And this is the best. As much as I love the meat and cheese, getting inside, getting into the garlic aioli, the, the veggies, everything they put in here, it's even more amazing. Oh my God, that bite was everything to me. This is gonna be a big one. Prepare yourselves. There's a lot of juice in here, not just from the meat patty, but from the sauce, everything, gooey, soaking inside as well, just saturating the nice, warm pita bread. And this is why the pita is absolute genius, because all that juice from the burger, all that juice from inside the ingredients, is all conjugating right down here, making this effectively a burger diaper. And unlike regular diapers, you want to take a bite of the burger diaper. Oh, I also got their famous cauliflower. I'm not usually a proponent of eating anything that even resembles a broccoli, but this is supposed to be absolutely insane here. And let's not forget our massive chili, okay? You don't have to do what I do, but I just shove it inside this burger like so. Judge me if you want, but I think this looks even more glorious. Oh. Forget fries, forget anything else that you think might go well with a burger. This chili is the real BBF, best burger friend. Slightly sweet, very spicy, amazingly intense smoky flavor. This chili adds all that. So this is a roasted cauliflower and apparently this is their number one selling thing here. It's just roasted with a little olive oil, I think, and salt. And you're supposed to dip it in this little chili sauce and a little bit of, I think this is garlic aioli. I think it's very good if you really like cauliflower. The texture is a little soft. I like this chili sauce and the cauliflower is perfectly roasted. I just don't love vegetables that much, especially something kind of related to broccoli. Shout out to Justin, Alvin, Lawrence, all the guys at The Burger Show. Thanks for introducing this burger to me. If you guys want to check out the episode of The Burger Show, I'll link it for you down below, but God, this is one of my all time favorite burger places in New York. I mean, all the places I'm going to this video are, but this is such a unique burger. Come try this out. 
I got two more burgers to go. I'm meeting up with an old friend after this. See you in a bit. Okay, second to the last burger place. I'm meeting up with my good friend Heron. Hi. And okay, so I didn't plan on having this place in the video, but then when I told you, I was very adamant. You, she was so adamant. She's like, you gotta come here. As you can see, we're not, we don't have burgers in front of us. So you yeah. said I have to try the pizza here. Mm -hmm. So Emily is normally a pizza place, right? And they do everything here kind of like very differently from yeah. any other traditional places. But before the Emmy burger, you have yeah. to try the Colony pizza. Yes. So these are their two popular pizzas. Mm -hmm. Let's dig in before this the burger. This is gonna be your favorite. I already know. I know, I, I'm steering at the jalapeno in that pool of happiness that's boiled, bubbling up the cups of right in there. Oh yeah, you love that. It's my favorite. Thanks for inviting me. Thoughts? Oh my God. Right? Oh. Mm. Right? Mm. Mm -hmm. I love that sweet honey mm -hmm. I put on top of this. Pepperoni is like from the gods. Spicy, got a little cup of uh, happiness elixir in the middle. That curl. Yeah, and the dough, mm -hmm. chewy. Bottom, thin, little charred. Little charred, it's got a slight bitterness. It's airy, it's robust. And the jalapeno, great. you love the spice. I love the spice. Mm -hmm. It's sweet, spicy, it's meaty. It's like my life, sweet, spicy, and meaty. That pretty much sums it up. Yeah. That is yeah, it. Actually. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is the one that I constantly always dream about, which is surprising because no. I don't really like honey mm -hmm. or sweet and salty on a savory dish. But I want you to be as astounded as I was when I first okay. had this. I'm ready. There you go. Beautiful. Mm. Mm. It's my pizza dance. Happy pizza dance. Happy pizza day to you. Mm. Right? Mm. The truffle flavor. And the pistachios. I'm astounded. I thought I was gonna miss the pepperoni, and I still do. Oh, but this is God, totally that honey is like whatever fur godmothers you know sprinkle on top of Cinderella to make her a princess. I feel like that's just honey. Both of these have honey on it. I don't know, but this one, it's more effective That's because true. with that great truffle flavor, you got the sweetness of the honey and everything just so aromatic and it works well. Mm -hmm. The pistachios, nice crunch. Right, and there's little these little pockets of mm. bubbles that rise to the top that add this extra textural component. This is a great pizza. All right, well, pizza's already this good. I can't wait to try their burger. Okay, you said this is the best burger in New York. I was, I, was, I had a you tie. Said, you, had had a, you had a video Peter that the title Peter was. Peter Luger and Emily. Oh, you had a tie. I had a tie, oh, okay, okay. Emily said Emily too, so it was like two to one. Okay, but so. This, this is one of the best. So the sauce, the sauce is amazing, everything. right? This That's is a, a sauce. That's a sauce. This is a, a sauce, right? Emmy sauce. Wow, that's a good sauce. It, it hits ya, like right here. And then, the, and then like all of After the about 10 seconds. All right. Here we go. Mm. That's a very, very good burger. That meat is ridiculous. It does a little disappearing act in your mouth mm. once you take a bite. Mm. Like it's so melty. I mean, you got the cheese element, right? I like and the- the caramelized onions. Yeah, everything about this is so melty. If Peter Luger was more like, you know, just original, the foundation of what, what a good burger is, this thing clobbers you in the face with flavor. I like the heat. I like how it's shocking yeah, me in the it, throat right now. It, you mm -hmm. should come here early because the burgers are by limited supply. Oh, yeah, they yeah. only sell a certain amount of night. At this location, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, if you want a burger, you come too late, no more burger. Stop. You gotta wait for the next Disappeared. day. Disappeared. Out of all the burger places I chose for this video, they all have their reasons to be mm -hmm. there. My Peter Luger was very OG. It's a very traditional, beefy, kind of steak-like burger. It's very good. I love Burler Maker because it's a very inexpensive, for $11, a great patty, great beefy taste. Chef Jay cooked a crazy 
crazy, interesting, juicy. You, you didn't eat this with me, but it's a pop up. It's amazing. But I'm just saying, like everybody has a has a reason to be in this video. But this, you guys definitely need to come and try this, and, and also get that pizza. I got one more place to try, but thank this you so is much. Where I leave you. Bye. Bye. See you later. Final burger of the tour. It's about midnight right now. At the final place I'm going to, reservation is so hard to get, or at least the reservation at a decent hour. My reservation, 12:15 a.m. And that was like the last one they had. Four Charles Prime Rib, Four Charles because we're on Four Charles Street. This is an amazing prime rib restaurant. It has arguably one of the best burgers in the city. Unless you like eating burgers at about 12 a.m. at night, maybe go somewhere else. But I'm gonna show you what their burger's made out of. They're known for their roast prime rib and it's cooked for 12 hours. I got the burger and I got the Charles cut, which is a bullion prime beef about, uh, about a pound and a half, not so big, because if I'm here, I'm eating the prime rib. There it is, coleslaw, melted cheese over a double patty of choice cut beef. And this is from the ribs, so the meat is uber gentle and tender. And just a tiny bit of pressure just opens up the burger geyser. Everything about this burger just makes your day better, your week better, your life better. The bun tastes like a couple of soft, fluffy, pillowy clouds just sandwiching the most tender, most gentle, most succulent, most juicy of beef patties together. Look at that slight crunch from the pickle and just that hint of tanginess from the Dijon. And that just kind of ever so slightly reset your taste buds just a bit. This burger is like the Cinderella of all burgers. Beautiful, delicate, strong, and you can only eat after midnight. I complain about coming here this late and eating this late, but it makes it all worth it. Only bad thing is, it's after midnight, final burgers in my stomach, fairy tale is over. <laughs> hey, I'm back. I totally forgot this massive prime rib coming up. 26 ounce prime cut prime rib. House made steak seasoning and au jus to pour over. A little au jus sauna for the prime rib. Oh my God. You don't need your teeth. You don't need anything. Most melt in your mouth, succulent, juicy, fatty. Oh, it is fatty prime rib. It needs horseradish. Mm. I know this, this is a burger video, but this is like the end credits to Avengers. I mean, after an already fantastic feature of, of five burgers, I'll be thinking about that for the rest of the night. This has been one of my favorite food adventures ever. Guys, all the burger places I went, so top notch. Come here for the burger, stay for the prime rib, Get it for dessert, whatever, because I guarantee you that's gonna be softer and juicier than any pie cake or mousse you might be thinking about for dessert. All right, obviously all the places I went to is listed down below. I, I gotta get back to this. Good night. <laughs>